Well, thank you for joining us on the National Real Estate Cafe with Don Gellin and Gino Fronti for over two, well, two and a half, almost three years now. We've been sharing with you daily what's really, what's really happening in the real estate and financial world, so you are in the know. Well, we like to say no fake news here, right? Because at the end of the day, we're not just trying to win eyeballs. We're trying to educate you and make sure that you know exactly what's going on because eh, the media likes to spin things, don't they, Don? And if you want to know what's exactly going on, check out our website at donangino.com. Click on the YouTube channel. There's literally over 1,800 videos sharing with you great uh, interviews, and a lot of these videos, the National Real Estate Cafe, giving you, keeping you in the know. And today is no difference because I'm telling you, the media continually tries to jump on that the real estate market is going to crash at some point. It's crashing, but we've been hearing that for four years now. Haven't they been saying that about the stock market all year long? Oh yeah, a Didn't lot of people lost money. we break every single record? Yeah. Remember what Chris said during our show on the Don and Gino Real oh, Estate and Finance good stuff. Show? Good stuff. More money is lost anticipating a crash than what would have been lost if there was a crash. So think about that one. All right, so let's go to this slide right here. This is more proof that the housing market is strong. We keep telling you that. And new home sales jumped. Boy, we can tell you why, too. Well, look at the homes sold. That's a lot of new homes sold, Don. I mean, that's that's the biggest number we've seen in quite some time. In fact, they jumped 6.2% in October. Do you think there's maybe a reason why that happened? Yeah, almost 20% year over year. Well, that's because we had probably 20% more inventory, would be my guess. Uh, well, we've been strangled and strangled <laughs> and strangled in inventory, and we are anticipating more inventory in 2018, That's Don. right. We're talking uh, purchase is supposed to go up another 10% in 2018. That's good news. Well, what's really good news about that is if inventory climbs at a slow, sustained rate, then appreciation might climb at a slightly slower rate, which is fine because yeah, 5.5, 5.8, 6.3.2 to 4 percent. That would be fantastic because that means this run could take a breath, inventory could catch up a little bit, we become a normal market, and then we can continue to push forward. All right, so you can see existing home sales up 2%. Go back to the slide, please. Um, up 2% in October. That's good because we had a little, little downside, but prices are up 5.5%. Ironically, not exact number that Gino and I gave you at the very beginning of the year. We told you it would be between 5 and 6%. We thought closer to 6%. Yeah, and uh, I do think it'll be a little cooler next year, Don. I don't mm -hmm. think we're going to be able to sustain these numbers nationwide. No. Um, prices have gone up quite a bit, and now with new – and the only reason is we don't have enough inventory. New inventory coming on, we think appreciation levels will be between 35 to 5%. And then, of course, on certain markets, it'll still be 7 to 10% because the markets are remaining hot like – Southern California and the Pacific Northwest, hmm, weather. Anyways, <laughs> you heard it right here on the National Real Estate Cafe. Get these sent right to your phone by texting NREC to the number 58885.